there, there's a lot of positions, a lot of different ways you can build a roster to be successful and become a championship club. I think you see that across the league. Uh, you do note that obviously the teams that have the great quarterbacks seem to perennially, seem to perennially be in the playoffs and having a chance to win championships. Uh, but there's the scarcity as well, so you don't want to force it. For any college quarterback, it's going to be a pretty difficult transition to the NFL, regardless if they run a more, you know, quote unquote, pro style system or something that looks a lot different than your typical NFL offense. But if um, you know if the quarterback has the the physical talent to produce, um, has the work ethic, has the preparation, and then most importantly has the aptitude, uh, it may take him a little bit longer, but. You know, those guys typically do have success in the NFL. Hugh's a guy we lean on tremendously because of his expertise. It's his system. He understands what he needs there in terms of evaluating our quarterbacks and, and facilitating a discussion about who would be a fit for us. How likely is it that you would be willing to or will trade up from number 12 to try to get presumably a quarterback? I uh, wouldn't comment on any of those reports or, uh, again, the rumors. I mean, again, it's going to be – one every day was trade back, trade up, um, trade to two. You know, I've seen them all. Just not, not gonna, not gonna comment on them. Do you envision trying to trade for a veteran quarterback on draft weekend? No, 